Hello. Part of the population of planet Earth celebrated the new year. Everyone who should congratulated everyone who should. Presidents and prime ministers traditionally addressed their peoples. We paid attention to some speeches. French President Emmanuel Macron has been extraordinarily verbose. He spoke for almost 20 minutes. It is hard to imagine that his conversion pleased the French. Time after time he asked. Will we have power outages? Will we have an increase in energy prices? Is a new wave of COVID waiting for us, and will there be an end to the epidemic? Will we have to work harder in 2023? We are going through a difficult time. Mr. President, why are you scaring your people? Macron forgot to say who is responsible for these problems. But he knows exactly who will save the Fifth Republic. Through our work and our commitment. Through our work and our commitment. It is through our work and our commitment. Through our work and our commitment. Long live the Republic. Long live France. While the French were listening to the president's speech, 790 cars were burned in Paris. This is a hundred less than last year. What a relief. Russian President Vladimir Putin's New Year's address to the people surprised us greatly. And it's not about the content of the message. We were surprised by the lack of some details. This video was made by amateurs. There was no director on the set, no professional lighting. The speech itself was filmed in one shot and this clip was not edited. They didn't even cut out the president's cough. Prior to that, Putin awarded orders to officers and soldiers. This scene is also amateur filmed. From this we can make one assumption, Vladimir Putin ran away from his team, from his pool on New Year's Eve. Do you have another explanation? The question remains, why did he do it? The appeal to the people of German Chancellor Olaf Scholz does not require comments. One German comedian did everything for us, we can only enjoy. Compared to these three messages, President Xi's speech is a model of calmness, confidence and determination to see the job through. It seems to us that Alexander Ovechkin made one of the best New Year's gifts. Not only did he score his 30th hat-trick by scoring three goals in the Washington-Montreal game on New Year's Eve, he gave a huge pile of joy to his fans. Chopped out of Kuznetsov, stick breaks, here's Ovechkin, scores! And now it's Ovechkin, down the lane, trying to get by Kovacevic, he does, he scores! Elon Musk lost about $200 billion in 2022. We don't know whether to be happy or upset. Let's say otherwise. Don't ask Musk how much he lost in a year, ask yourself what did you achieve? Everything is good in Australia on New Year's Eve. No COVID, no fires. Here's a reason to arrange a fantastic fireworks. Look at this great show, and we say goodbye to the next issue.